Right then, so this is Western Australia by Farmer Bob, 144.07 megabyte on the download. And it says, welcome to Western Australia. In the outback, you are in charge of your own future. Oh, excellent. So what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on here on Farm Manager or start from scratch, you're going to use 819 slots. Now, if you come on here on New Farmer, you're going to use 1,147. Now, the difference between the two, as you can imagine, is going to be the equipment, because you don't start with any equipment on Farm Manager or start from scratch, but also the buildings. None of these buildings on the start farm are here on Farm Manager or start from scratch. Fair enough, we've seen that before on many a map, not a problem. So, what are we talking about from an equipment perspective? So, if we go into medium tractors, we've got the Massey Ferguson MF8S205, under large tractors, we've got the Fent 942 Vario and the JCB Fast Track 8330. Under trucks, we've got the Max Superliner 6x4. Under harvesters, we've got the Case Axial Flow 9250. Under cars, we've got the Lizard Pickup 1986 and the Mahindra Retriever. Under trailers, we've got the Crampy SKS 301050 and the Crampy Big Body 750S and then the Salic ANS 1900. Under headers, we've got the Case 3162 Terraflex Draper 45 foot. Then we'll come down to corn headers, we've got the Case 4418N. Under stone pickers, we've got the LO Scorpio 550. Under cultivators, the Vader Stat NZ Extreme 1425. Under seeders, the Amazon Sighton 15001C. Under sprayers, we've got the Hardy Aon 5200 Delta Force. And then to finish up on the fertilizer spreaders, we've got the Amazon ZG TS 10001. Now that's an all right starting setup. Yeah, some big stuff on there. Now the reason you've got some big stuff on there is because when we go into the map, you'll see there's a reason for that. Because these fields are big. There's only about, what, 20, 25, 27-ish? It's 25, isn't it? So how much the, the highest number on that field there? 25 over across the whole map and you've even got this one here field 11 which is huge dear oh dear now if you start on new farmer you're going to start with field two field one and field four now obviously ignore that because i've bought that in this setup now if you used to buy these separately field two is going to cost you 1.3 million field one's going to cost you 916 although that does include the start farm and then field four, it's going to cost you 360. So if you used to start off on new farmer, you may want to sell field two. Make yourself a little 1.3 mil. Get yourself going. Fair enough. Now, if we come down to the shop, there is a few things that's not available to sell to start off with. You've got the usual setup on the go, no problem. When we come down the list a little bit and we get to wood chips. So you can't sell wood chips and you can't sell wood. Okay, then we come down and you can't sell manure or slurry. And also, once we get down to the bottom, you can't sell stones. So there's no sawmill, there's no BGA, and there's no debris crusher. But everything else is on there, not a problem. But that being said, there's plenty of mods out. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. So, the start farm. We'll go back up to the map. You start up here, and all three game modes you start here. But obviously, I'm on new farmer. So, you've got... Behind us here is your sleep trigger. Fair enough. We'll come round here. We'll open up this door like that. There's your wardrobe icon. And we'll come round the back of the house. We've got some chickens. Now, I didn't put these in. They were here at the start. This is Ace. So you load your feed into there. You've got your animal dialogue box there. It's got 15, uh, 11 in already. 30 at a capacity. And you've got your egg pallet spawn point there. Then we'll come round the back of there. Because over here... We already start off with a beehive. Oh, that's all right. Now, obviously, with the beehive, you need some honey. Or a pallet spawn point for your honey anyway. Which is right over here by your greenhouse. Greenhouse over here, pallet spawn point there. Water at the front. Obviously, your production chain menu inside. So it's going to be the standard greenhouse. No problem, get cracking with that. So we'll come back out of there. And we'll come down this bit here. Because there's a nice big field to this farm. I and mean, you've got a little... I suppose you'd normally stack bales under there. But you could put some equipment there. No problem. And we've got this big, big shed in here. Where most of your equipment is. I mean, you could store loads of stuff on that. 
<laughs> oh, that's all right. And we'll come out and we'll come down this side because you've got a few silos on here as well. So the first one over here is going to be a buy point for your lime. And then we'll come around here. So you've got some more storage under here where most of your equipment is. Then you've got a diesel tank. No, you haven't. You've got a fertilizer tank. There we are. Oh, no, it is diesel tank. Dear, oh, dear. 25,000 litre capacity on that one. Then, obviously, fill up at the front there. We'll come over here. Here's your fertiliser tank. So, we'll click on the first one there. So, that's going to hold 173,000 litres. Dear, oh, dear. It's going to cost you 230 grand to fill it up, mind you. But still. And you've also got a little pond there. You could back a trailer into there if you've got some more animals on the go. Where was that going to be deep enough to get the fill trigger on your trailer? Hmm, that's interesting. And we'll come back around to this one. Another fill silo. There you are. 60,000 litres solid fertiliser going into there. You then got your water tank if you want to pay for it. And we'll come around here. Got a workshop trigger. So pull your vehicle in there. Hit the spanner. Jobs are good. Un. So a bit more storage under there. Another workshop point. So you can put anything in either of these and then hit the spanner. It'll pick them both up. And we'll spin around here because you've got your main farm solo, which is absolutely huge. <laughs> dear, oh dear. So you've got the load in, load out at the front. So you've got your main silo there. And also you've got a extension bins. Oh, that is ace. Very nice. You can get loads of stuff in there. Dear, oh dear. Then we'll come around to here. We've got another buy inable silo. So we'll click on that one. That's going to do your seeds and your mineral feed. So 27,300 in there. And we'll come around to the last bit, which is another buy inable silo. So we'll click on that one. That's going to do your herbicide. 173,000 litres again. Dear, oh dear. 173,000 litres of herbicide. All right, fair enough. Why not? <laughs> Ace, and obviously in the middle is where you got all your equipment. Now that's a decent start farm, that is. Plenty of storage, plenty of big equipment, which is that. I mean, it's like you got the you got the dual tyres on the back and the front of this fence. Oh, that is ace. Love it. Right, we're going to move on because we're going to move over to this one here. So this is going to be a production chain for you. So this is your grain mill. Fair enough, probably all recognise this one by now. So you load your stuff into there, put your pallet spawn point there, then your production chain menu there. So 96 grams to buy. All fairly simple. We're going to go back into the map again, we're going to go down to the main industrial area down the bottom here. So first up, we've got a sale point, so we're going to zoom in a little. So we'll click on that. So this is selling station grain yard. So this is going to be one of your two main selling points. So you just chuck all your stuff into the grating. Then we'll spin around because we're going to come down. Where's the fence gone? It's all, it's all fenced in. I mean, you've got a way bridge there if you wanted to. And come back out. Have I gone the wrong way? Probably. Well, have we got to go around that way? No. You haven't got to go around this side. Yeah, you have as well. <laughs> Dear, oh dear, main entrance to everything over there. I went down the wrong way. All right, we'll carry on. So you come over here. Here's your animal dealer. Obviously, if you want to have them delivered directly, come down here or bring a trailer down, whatever you fancy. Then we'll come back round here and we've got a diesel buying tank. Just pull your vehicle up. I was saying that, it says silo is empty. Oh, there, there's the trigger. Right, click on that. 25,000 litres. Fill that up come and fill up your vehicle although we don't own this land so that's ace i mean you can use the silos down here without actually owning the land so we'll come over here we've got a loading in point for a spinnery so we'll click on that there 60 grand doesn't look like a spinnery mind you it just looks like a bit of a shed but all right fair enough so you load in there Production chain menu there, pallet spawn point there, fair enough. Then we'll come there, you've got your animal dealer sale point, it's going to be for bales. Then we'll come over here because you've got a little warehouse garage sort of shenanigans on the go. You come down here, store some stuff if you wanted to. And we'll come over here, we'll go over the Weybridge, then we'll come to the workshop trigger. 
for the main vehicle shop so pull your vehicle in the hatch marking area there hit the spanner jobs are good in then you've got your main vehicle workshop main vehicle shop menu shall i say is there and we'll come over here so here's another silo that you can use which is ace so you've got your load in and then you're taken out but there's loads of them there's absolutely loads of silos down here this is ace i mean you got that there they're all hooked up they're all connected you come through here here's another one of your cell points so we'll go into there we're now on this one so click on that we'll zoom in a bit there you are corky station this is going to be the second cell point for you and you come out obviously the main silo is still there and then you come down to these ones now you can use these but what you're going to need to do is get the what's it called i oh, slipped my mind the augers they are that's the word so place them under there and obviously fill into your vehicle then the ones on the outside i'd imagine although saying that they're all hooked up with these pipes so is it just one to take out but then again that one up there had a taken out point anyway so if they're all connected with all these pipes then you shouldn't need to take anything out of those hmm that's interesting and you come here and you've got a another buy point for your lime and that's pretty much it for down here that is interesting though because they are all connected up so you've got all these pipes around the back a connection up all those there then you've got that one that goes up over the top there into the whole industrial section i'm not sure whether you'd need to have one of those augers to take them out mind you then that all links back into those silos oh that's interesting anyway fair enough we'll carry on right we'll go into the construction menu and have a little fly over because this map is big big fields big open spaces obviously there is some trees in the middle and the telegraph poles going down the road they have got collisions on and the electrical pylons in the middle of the map they have got collisions on as well so you do need to watch out for those but if you're into your big farming this could be a map for you there's not many trees although you have got these little areas dotted around you could place something down like a little production chain a little sow point yeah yeah but you've got big areas big open fields smash out some big loads of crops i like this map i like it indeed i mean my my wife's cousin moved to australia probably about 10 years ago maybe we could do an australian farm together who knows dear oh dear excellent right so drop it in the comments below what you think you're thinking of doing on this map you're gonna smash out some crops you're gonna place some animal pens down you're gonna place some trees down make your own forestry area we'll see what people are looking at if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one